Let's try this again. What's right. up, fam? Welcome back to a special edition of the Against the Odds podcast. We are flipping Crazy. the script today. Um, so if you guys follow me on social media, not too much on... Sorry, he's a pro over here. Um, <laughs> not too much on my podcast. I talk about do school. I'm sure I've mentioned him a few times, but more on Instagram. You probably see him like every Sunday. <laughs> You're probably annoyed. We're probably on your for you page already. <laughs> Um, but we have Dusko on today's episode of the podcast, and we're recording. Excuse me, what? Yes, sir. <laughs> Stay tuned for this one. No, no, for sure. The one pleasure to be on your platform and your podcast. That I think for the last four episodes, we've been I've been saying against all odds, and we're shouting you out. So honestly, a, an honor. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. I appreciate you. And it feels, it feels, it's an honor for me to have you on here because it's like, we, we've done so much on your podcast now, like we've done so much growing on your end and I'm just like, obviously I'm like on and off on my podcast and everybody knows every time I come back on my podcast, I always like say sorry to everybody because I'm like, hey guys. <laughs> but one, one thing is we're going to make sure she's on her toes to give you guys this amazing content week after week and it's good. Yeah, and honestly, Dusko, I'd like huge shout out to him because him and just like everybody in our circle just keeps me super motivated and grounded. I feel like I've I've gone through a lot recently. Like obviously, I share my podcast. I'm super open and transparent. Um, but behind the scenes of it all, like you know, these people are the ones who like really keep me grounded. So we try. We huge try. shout out to them because appreciate you. Without them. I couldn't do it, <laughs> but we're here, and I'm trying to be consistent, and we're trying to be consistent. Um, honestly, we've just been, we've been doing a lot. We we've did. Been, we've we been did. doing a lot, and I think um, with me just being around, like, your podcast, like, even though I slack on mine, it's what I need to fulfill, like, to fulfill me, you know? Yeah. Like, we still have, we have fun, so let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into it. I'm ready. He's on the hot seat. We, <laughs> we're very open. We're full, free game, so whatever right. you want to ask. What is one area right now that you feel you're on a scale? So I want something that you feel is on a lower scale and a higher scale. So one area in your life where you're like, you're exceeding and you feel like you got this. And then one area where it's like the complete opposite. Mm. Where you're fulfilling and where you're lacking. I think it's when things are not going correctly. My patience and motivation just drops. So for us, for me, on this side of the podcast, like this week it was like certain numbers weren't going correctly. You know, what we weren't getting the same traction. And from going on a, what is it, like two weeks, just gaining over 10,000, over 300 subs. like Hold everything, on. Yeah. <laughs> because if you guys don't follow him on TikTok, he just blew up We're in at, a month from, you're at 25 or 26 now? We're at 27. We hit 27, oh, so... you just did 25. Yeah. Okay, so, and so he was at, what, 7K? We were at... Good, we're at a good 9. We're like a good 9... 9,500. And in the last podcast, when I was uh, listening back to mine, we're like, oh, we just hit 20, and then we hit 25, 27. And, you know, to just answer your question, it was... didn't get, We were getting like 30,000, 60,000 uh, views... 25, 10,000 minimum, and then it just dropped. It went from 10,000 to just seven, five, three, four. I was just like, damn, what am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. So my patience becomes to like a little bit, like it minimizes my motivation, just kind of like drops a little bit. But honestly, when I'm like my highest moment is when I see everybody around me and what I'm doing just thriving like I'm in a good seat mm -hmm. like I see like you Dylan Jose um Angela um and we're all thriving in our own areas I'm like like we're on this yeah. hell yeah and just me myself doing my thing is me doing the justice to you guys like all right I'm fulfilling my area and doing it all right we're good so I think when things are going right I'm good, and then when things are not, like, my patience becomes minimal. Like, believe it or not, my motivation just goes from 100 miles an hour to, fuck, I want to stay in bed. I hate to, like, switch, like, not really switch the topic, but because you just said something where you said, like, 
you're helping everybody be fulfilled too, right? Like nice. you're helping like the team and like because at the end of the day, like we are individuals, but we move as a unit. Um, we and that's like on the podcast, off podcast, on social media, you know, on and off. Like we are always texting all day. Like we, like random, you know, like the randomest things. Like you sent us a screenshot of your TikTok. Hell yeah, it's a celebration. Mm. Yeah, you know, like so. You said you, you, you're also fulfilling other people, right? You're fulfilling the team. So at what point do you feel? And this is not just like with the team, but like in life in general, like you're fulfilling other people before yourself or you're filling up other people's cups. Like at what point? Yeah. And what do you do then? Um, when I, do you, when do you say stop? And when do you, when I'm having a mental action? breakdown, <laughs> I think, uh, like how you, we said it earlier, you brought it up, like to fill my own cup, I got to fill other people's. And I always say that you got to be selfish. So when I say I, I got to be selfish is I know what I'm doing is to help others. But at the same time, it's like, all right, when you when somebody comes to me and you're in my own circle with the problem, with an issue, whatever. All right. How can I help you to get there? And for me, having my kids, my, you know, my family, it's doing everything to make sure they're comfortable. Like I've said it before, like I would go through hell and back just to make sure everybody else is okay, whether I got to go through a mental breakdown, be get anxiety, you know, feel depressed for a while, cry on my way to work, from work, at work. I'm good as long as the people around me are good. And I feel like we're the same person in that sense because we will continuously, like, even fill somebody's cup and, like, overflow it. Like, we're yeah. overflowing that bitch up. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're like, oh, you're good? Let me give you more. You yeah. know, and it's like we're always constantly thinking about fulfilling other people and then That's we're left so empty. Yeah. And, like, I feel like it's a good and bad thing because I'm at that point now where I'm finally, like, yo, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care, you know, <laughs> no like, because giving. it comes to, and that's why I ask you, like, so at what point, because I feel like that I've reached my point finally, like, this month, I finally said, like, you know what, like, that's it, I gotta put me, like, I gotta put me first, because it's just always, like, I'm being, it's like, there's people around me that are acting as an anchor yeah. in my life, and, like, it's just, like, literally holding me down, holding me back, and it's like, if you want me to help you in the future, yeah. like, you gotta help me help you. It literally, I think for to just answer that part of your question, it's now transitioning to really not caring what other people really think about me. Am I this or that? And because I do this, I'm this. It's like, yo, you're always going to have an opinion on me. You're always going to, you know, but you're not in my shoes. You don't, you don't got to wake up in my shoes. You don't got to go sleep in my own bed. Like you don't got to go through the stress that I got to go through. Like, it's not that I've, me ha faltado algo. Like, my parents always got me. My dad and my mom always put me first. But because they did that, I know I have something to live to and live up to. Like the expectation. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, bought a house at 23. Well, I moved out at 23. By the time I hit 25, I bought my house. And, you know, for some people, it wasn't enough. Which is and crazy because I'm 23 and it's like, and I'm not going to, like, say that I haven't done a lot, but it's like. I am nowhere near no nowhere near buying a house. Like, that's not even, I mean, it's, like, a long-term thought, but that's, like, not something. If you bought it at 23, that means you were already planning uh, we, before we, then, you know? I'm not going to lie. Like, at 21, I had no savings. 22, there was no savings. <laughs> Probably, like, getting into close to 23, there was starting to be a well, savings. With the cars you were driving? <laughs> oh, man, that was stupidity, but, I mean, I loved them. <laughs> but we went into... You know, having my son, and for for me, that was a, just a game changer. And it was like, I had the comfort of living at home, but if I would have lived at home, I would not be sitting where I'm sitting because literally my dad just taught me, like, all right, see, see, as is esto, you know your consequences. And for me, it was like, all right, I got to stand on my two feet. If I fall on my own two feet, then I can't, like, I went through that transition of, I don't need, like, you could tell me, like, what I should do, but. If it doesn't work out, I don't want to be able to blame you mm -hmm. for not working out. Right. So if I moved out and we moved out to, you know, some nice apartments because I love the comfort and it was just super close. If I didn't make rent and that guy kicked out, I want to know it was on me because I fucked up. Not because this person or this person put me there. I did this. And it turned into because we did that and I just use it as fuel like, all right. 
everybody that comes into an apartment, they never leave. They get comfortable. Okay. They, they want to do it. They want to do it. And for me, it was like, all right, I'm going to do the most. We are going to work 11 at night, getting home at 12, 12 a.m., 2 a.m., you know, waking up at 5, going to 6, like just doing the most. And we got to the end goal, which we signed those documents. And I'm like, yo, I finally did it. And then a week passed, two days passed, and I was like, on to the next. But not, like, just, again, clearing it up, like, not giving a shit, not giving a fuck, to be honest, of what other people's opinion on me anymore. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you have to sit with your decisions, right? Like, it all comes down to you when you're sitting in your room by yourself, and yeah. you're like, okay, what am I doing? I think the hardest you part is, is realizing, like, I'm not even 30 years old yet. Yeah. Like, I just passed a quarter of a century. I'm only 26. And I feel like I'm living a life that's, like, 40 years old. Because mm-hmm. of all the things you've been, you've had to go, go through. Go through everything we're doing right now. Like how you said, the podcast, the platforms, they're moving. So it's an ongoing thing. Like, everybody wants to see, all right, what's next, what's next? I want to see what we're capable of. Mm-hmm. Not what's next. I know what's going to be next. It's our next step, but... It's what are we capable of? We've never been good at social media. We're just starting to get good at social media. I, I, that's, I saw something the other day and it said, like, dude, I'm just touch, I'm only touching the surface right now. Yeah. Like, and that's like, it's scary, but it's also exciting because it's like, I, I also have to be reminded too that I'm like, oh shit, I'm only 23. Yeah, we got to remind ourselves, like, not a, <laughs> like you said it yourself, I'm like, a baby. Like, not a lot of people are going to just, are going to agree with what we do or love us. Like, uh, I coached uh, high school, and then one of them had told me, like, oh, one of our other sports, our other coach, she said she doesn't like you because you walk around like you don't give a shit. And I'm like, that's right. I really don't. That's a fact. <laughs> that's a, she's hitting that the fact. That is factual. <laughs> yeah, like, but it's, I literally just cleared it. I was like, why would I want to pretend, pretend to be someone I'm not? Like, I'd rather be hated for someone I am, and I'd rather be loved for someone I am. Facts. Like, you know, like, Facts. like, don't hate me for who I'm not, like, but just really like me for who I am. And if you don't, then I'm good with it. Yeah. I'm, we're not in this world to be liked by everybody. That, that And I, I feel like it's just so constant, and maybe because it's, like, what I'm living in right now, but I just keep hearing that, that it's, like, and I just, you know, I just finished saying it right now, like, none of us really know what the heck we're doing here. Like, nah. we're all walking, like, you're waking up every morning and, like, you don't know what's going to happen when you step out those doors. We're figuring like, this shit out as we go. <laughs> exactly. And we really are because, like, our conversations, like, they're so, like, we get an idea, we send it on a group chat. All right, let's get, like, today, we didn't even, when did we, Wednesday we planned this? Yeah, no, Thursday, right? Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, this was planned, like, super last minute, <laughs> and then, like, we can jump into that, priorities, you know, yeah. like, I'm not gonna say we have, we don't go and have fun, because let me tell you, like, I have been living it up lately, like, I've we literally- We go on benders. <laughs> yeah, I've been living it up a Didn't lot. parents hate me, because I take them out too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, like, I, I've been, it's, like, in my fucking ear, people, these days, like, I'm going to Seattle next week, right? Yeah. And then the next week after that, I have Vegas, the next week after that, I have a concert, it's like I'm I'm just I'm finally living so it's like yes I am having fun yes I'm finally feeling like I'm living in purpose and with purpose and just having fun in general but there's priorities you know there has and to be. for other people and we always say this like like my mom right now I'm leaving the house right I don't live us because I got heels on and I got this on and it's like I'm going to work <laughs> it's Saturday you guys might not see this podcast as work and we're not getting paid for it necessarily with money but like we know the people that we're touching we know we're doing and we know that in the end like we're doing this because it fulfills us and not only that but it's fulfilling other people look at the guy that reposted you what is it at like one point two million two million Uh, like do you uh, like have you sat with yourself yet um (laughs) yeah like uh that is i mean like it's tiktok so like people you know maybe Two million people didn't get the the message, right? Like, exactly. But, like... I think it's, like... uh, Don't quote me on the numbers, but it's, like, over 300,000 liked it. And I want to say over three, 4,000 people Like, do you get that that's, like... I mean, how many... Can you Google it? How many people fit in a stable center? (laughs) Like... Uh, A lot. But even, like, even then, it's, like, when they say, like, you don't have a big audience, right? Like, 
they say like 100 people listen to your podcast like that's a school auditorium is it like if you visualize like that's so many people and then your stories like maybe people script through my shit right like all the time i don't doubt it because i skip through people's things too like uh, sometimes i have like 700 viewers that means half of those people had to you know hear what i said yeah half of those people 20 20 Bro, you filled up like three staple centers (laughs) Crypto. Oh, excuse me. All about crypto. Crypto. If you have it, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but that is that that and that's I don't think you like st- and because I, I don't either. Like I know you were talking about my numbers on the last podcast. Yeah. And <laughs> we're we're challenging each other. I tell her I'm like we're not in the same areas, but we're going at it. It's like it's we're going it's, head to head. Yeah, we're obviously <laughs> like our podcasts are like two different like. And but see that's and we were just talking about that having a circle that like it's not a competition because I'm not in competition with anybody. I enjoy to sit in yeah. my I enjoy. Sitting in my room, crying, and then talking to you guys. It sounds very arrogant, but <laughs> we're too good to be in competition with anybody else. Yeah. Like, there's just no time for it. Like, I don't want to waste my time researching your stuff and be like, I got to do better than you. I got to research what I need to work yeah. on so I can be the best at what I can. Like, you said priorities. My priorities is to be the best I could be and, and do the most that I can. We are, I've always said it even from years ago, like, we are blessed to be able to walk, jump, feel, see, hear, smell. And I've always thought about this, and it's always been in my mind, like, you go anywhere, you research it, and you you can see, hear about stories of kids that are a year old, two years old, not being able to do certain things, feel certain things. And it's like, what's my issue? Mm-hmm. I got it you all. You get a chance every day. I got it all. Like, you know, to what I love about your podcast is that you can get sentimental and you get really, like, a lot of people don't know, but I lost it all. Mm-hmm. I've lost myself when my uncle got buried in 2015. In January in 2021, I got buried too. Mm-hmm. 2021 in October, I got buried with my brother. I lost myself. And I've always had, I got to do this. And that's, I mean, I always tell you too, like, why are we, yeah, and I, we we remind each other, and I don't know if you saw, like, last night, I was like, it's crazy how you don't realize, like, the effect that someone's passing has until you, like, talk about them, because I just had a conversation yesterday, and I was like, oh, shit, I didn't ever really grieve, you know, I, um, I never, like, really got to grieve, because we're such in a constant, like, we're constantly, me and you are always, like, constantly, like, (laughs) <laughs> we're constantly like on the run and so that's why i say like at what point you know i asked you in the beginning of the podcast at what point do you stop fulfilling other people because we know like we know each other and we know that we are we're so we're kind of empty you know like me and you but we know and that's what's like i that's what keeps me like afloat is that we both know that we're good and like we always say that right like i always tell you yeah. like yeah i'm going through it i'm going through it but like this is like this is very minimal to what we're going through. Like we've been through, we've lost the most important people I think in our lives. You know, because of those the most important people, and I mean, I've told you uh, just earlier in the week. Like you know, my uncle when he passed away, I didn't realize it. I mean, that was 2015. This is what is that? Seven years ago, and he went through anxiety, depression, everything. I didn't really know about that back then, and now when I went to go visit him, I was like, "Yo, thank you," because. I'm 26, and the last two years I've been going through it, but I'm allowed to. Like I can, I'm. I feel like I'm allowed to. But you said, at what point? There to me, there's no point. Like there's no end point to it because him, my grandpa, and my brother, like they were all givers. They were all. I'm gonna give. Just like us. I'm gonna take care of everybody else around me, even though I gotta go through hell. I'm everybody else. Good, good. Why? Because I know when I'm. I don't know what is it, 10 feet underground? Six. Six? six? Damn, only six? You can dig me up. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> well, hopefully longer because I'm a tall motherfucker. <laughs> um, but I want people not to just say, oh, well, he was a good dude. You know, he did this. It's like, nah, I want people to remember everything I did. Mm-hmm. I want them to tell the stories about when the movement that we got helped everybody. And that's on making an impact on every single, yeah. like every single, and that's, so that's why I said like, and like we were just talking right now when you were like, we were talking about how people 
you know, they spend their money and they go out, they go drink, they go. I'm like, you know what? We can't do anything about that. Yeah. You know, we can't, we can't judge. Do. We can't do anything. If that fulfills your cup, if it was your cup, what can, what can we do is we can spread the message and like, we can be that person to make sure like. As long as you don't complain about exactly what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, this you week know we spent too much. Oh, I went and go, you shouldn't have done it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bill, my friends. Are you not your own person? Like, come on, yeah. bro. Like, but it's just transitions. Again, I wasn't this type of person four or five years ago, let alone 10 years ago, maybe even two years ago. I just really had to go through shit, learn from it, analyze and it. And the strength you gain from it. I always, <sighs> I always say it, like, yeah. strength is what we get from the man who survived, literally. Yes. Like, and I feel like that's, that's kind of just what, like, I look back and I'm like, damn, like, I... We could write books. We we will write books. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna write a memoir. <laughs> like Greg Ross, I'm gonna write a memoir. Like we have been through some crazy shit, but like when you when you just you know you're gonna be good because you've been through so much that you're like, bro, this isn't this is like fluff. The things we're going through right now, you know, yeah, like because maybe we both at that, have our issues. Maybe at that time it might me feel like a lot, but once you surpass that cloud, you're just like, all right, maybe it wasn't that bad, but. I did go through it, mm-hmm. and it's about not neglecting those feelings, not putting those to the side. Because I'll tell you guys right now, everybody listening in, like when you put that shit to the side, and oh no, nah, I won't, I don't, I shouldn't do this right now. That shit's gonna bite you. In the- You've got to feel the feels. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because when 2015, when that all happened, I put everything away. I put everything to the side, and it wasn't until like 20. Like five years later, almost six years, I went through it for the first time in my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it went like I had my cars, how you said, and it was the worst thing I could have at that but time. It was all a disguise, you know, not a disguise, but it was kind of just like a. I had a three ninety two charger. That shit is fast as a motherfucker, five hundred mm-hmm. horsepower, and I put it that shit to the red line with no brake. I said I don't give a shit, and that's because I was like, ah, there's no saving. Like I'm, I'm. I'm I, I didn't feel like there was a necessity anymore. Yeah. And obviously it didn't happen. Didn't work out. Um, left uh, up north for my grandparents. Left back home. And it was just like hugged him, said bye. And this happened this week too. But I said bye to my grandma. And she was like, oh, take care. Love you. And I started crying to like, what's wrong? I was like, I got no idea. Mm-hmm. Now I got an idea. Now I know it's wrong. But That literally happened to me yesterday. I was like... Oh, okay, I still have healing to do. I thought I was over this. But uh, because we were so, like, and that's why, like, Sundays are my favorite because now, I mean, I'm on a whole different, like. It's a good startup um, and a good ending to the week. Right, like, now, and I mentioned in my last podcast, like, the relationship I, the relationship I have built with God this year is, like, and Dylan just said right now, too, he was like, I haven't seen you smile like that. And it's really just, like, fulfillment from, like. <laughs> It's the like mo- the it's first so positive thing he tells Aubrey, but <laughs> 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 yeah, we're not so gonna put that out there. <laughs> yeah, that'll be, um, next episode is gonna be Dylan hating on my life. <laughs> the <laughs> hatred between Dylan and Aubrey. <laughs> um, yeah, that secret animosity over here. Why are you hating? Why are you hating behind the camera? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it's just so much fulfillment of just knowing. Like, and I I said it the other day to someone. I was like, you know what? Like, I got me, God got me, and I'm content with that itself. Um, and it just, it feels so good. It just feels good to know that, like, I've got myself, but I've also got, like, a circle of people who, like, they're going to lift me the fuck up, you know? Like, yeah. yeah, because it, it's fucking tough out here, you know? It's, it's tough, but that's why I feel like it's so, you attract what you are at the end of the day. Had I not been, like, in the season that I was in when I met you, we wouldn't have probably, but we would have probably never still been friends. Yeah, it's it's really crazy the way we fell into like like this group that you created, and it just it shows because we all were at the same, maybe not the same level in life, but we all. But we know what we needed, right? Like I know you left that day, and I remember me and Cindy were just talking to you, and we told you like, yo, like we got you. Whatever we see, what you want to do, we know what it feels like not being supported and being taken advantage of. We got you. Right, and, if and it, it's never felt Months like, later, we're here. Yeah, and it never felt, so, I was like, okay, like, a whole, I didn't even know you guys like that. Shit, like, yeah, tack left and right, boom, boom, boom. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't even know you guys like that, but I was like, I don't know what just happened, 
but I think I just found my forever friends and like I'm gonna run with it. <laughs> yeah. You know, like and here we are today, like we're still riding the wave and like we're st- from here to six months ago, like we were doing Shout out Dark Sports, the waves don't stop. I was like, oh. who? <laughs> Why? They have a I have a sweater and it's Dark Sports and it says waves never stop. So when I went to uh with my boys, they saw me with the sweater and they're like, Hey bro, do waves ever stop? You're like, no. I'm like, no. Do you not read it? <laughs> <laughs> they were like capping on me. I was like, you, I, it's like you dicks. <laughs> um, all right, we got like five minutes left. Um, what? Where are you at right now? And I mean, you have so much shit going. You have so much <laughs> shit going. It's like so. It's it's crazy. Like I feel like you're trying to play. We're tr- we're both trying to pay catch up, but like you are blowing up. Like, if you guys haven't tuned in, a Toast of Life podcast, I, if you follow me, I know you have to be following him. Right now. If you don't follow dudes, like... Right now. I'm if following. you don't follow me, you're gonna, <laughs> we're going to end up on your For You page. We no are a unit. What. You know, and get used to seeing our faces. Let me just say that. Get we used s- to seeing our faces because we're, you guys probably, we're small. Right now, we're just, uh, like I said, we're touching the surface. And that's not even on, like, some, on the shit. Because what did Jason say? I you are not shit. the shit. I'm shit not yet. shit. But what I do know is that because our purpose is so high and because our intentions are so good and just we know who we are yeah. at the end of the day <laughs> we know who we are and we know what we're capable of and we know that we're do- we're barely touching the surface um but what's something quick that like you're working on and like ooh, you got hats going <laughs> i'm like i'm like thinking i was like we have uh, a lot going oh, on. oh so you want to get that the exclusive what we're working on yeah so i don't think i even told you guys exclusive so. Uh, we're taking out, we're working on a, a drop, trying to name it, and it's, I love the color black, uh, gold, so we're trying to make, we're coming out with hats, we're gonna come out with merch, um, we're literally working okay, on, I don't think I mentioned that he has an LLC now, <laughs> a Toast, Toast Life podcast, LLC, LLC. you already know this, <laughs> um, and literally because of our new member that we have, Angela, um, she just bringing it more to light, and I already had it set in mind, but don't be surprised when you see a toast of life in a different state. Mm-hmm. We're going to take this shit mobile. Yeah. Texas. I think the one, if the person doesn't come here, well, I'm barely telling you guys, but. Yeehaw. But uh, <laughs> te- Texas, we might Lace, be going to Texas. Laced in boots up. We might be going to Texas. Uh, I think we're going to try Washington. Uh, so we're literally gonna we're gonna bring this podcast to a different level, and it's it's more instead of you coming here because it's hard for your time, we're gonna make the time and we're gonna go travel, oh and pretty soon we're gonna just take out another day in the life YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that yes, one. Yes, we so need that, that man. So that was so much that. fun. That they made me feel really <laughs> fulfilled. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's that. Let's stop it right there, and then we'll do the closing. Oh Jesus! What time is it? Today? Ready. All right, so that is it. Super short podcast, like we said at the first part. Um, we did the super last minute again. We're just trying to do what we can to um, just make an impact. We're making sure we're bringing this content to you guys, the viewers, the listeners, because we know not just we need it, but all of you guys need it just as much as we do. And I said it earlier, like we all know a lot of things, but we don't act upon the situation until we hear the re- like the reassurance of somebody else telling us. So when you listen to all those 10 second clips of somebody saying a motivational thing or inspirational or how heartfelt tune into this podcast. Cause we just said that for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. And it all comes, it really just all comes down. Like we said, like this is super last minute, but like we are just trying to make a difference. Like we're trying to do the damn thing out here and not just for us, honestly, like, for everybody, like for everybody, because we know that we were once that person that were like searching for somebody to just like hear us out or give us like those exact same words. And maybe I don't have the exact same words, and maybe Dusko doesn't have the exact same uh, the exact words to give you to get you out of the rut that you're in. But yeah. I hope that I always say like I hope one thing resonated with you, whether and I just like a lot of times we're all jokes and you know we're all fucking being silly. At the end of the day, we hope that just something resonates with you, whether it be on a podcast, on our on our page, anything. Um, and you are more than welcome to freaking support both of us. You, if you support him, you support me. If you support me, you support him. We're, we're um, a unit. Make sure you follow. You subscribe. You share the message. Yeah. Tune in to all the platforms that Against All Odds is in because 
she may not know it, but I tell her every time this podcast is very much needed to her listeners, her viewers, to people like me that honestly, this is an honor to be on this. And this is the first time I'm ever on another podcast. So oh yeah, we didn't even mention I'm, that. Yeah. I'm loving it. And I feel special. And thank you so much for, for doing this and yeah. running this. Yeah, let's do a cheers. So real quick, cheers to Against All Odds and Against It's Just a Life Podcast mashup. Make sure you tune in and subscribe. Let's go.